Hi ladies, so like I mentioned in the last tutorial, there's a difference between night and day foundation. So this one is going to be night foundation. It's a little bit heavier, which you can wear if you're going to go out on a date, maybe just go out with your girls. But if you pay close attention, I will teach you everything you need to know about being fly at night. Hey ladies, welcome back. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm starting out with my concealer underneath the eye like we did in the last tutorial and I'm using my concealer brush and this time you're gonna drag it down a little bit farther and a little bit more out than the daytime and you're just literally painting on the concealer underneath your eye at nighttime when you're taking pictures this is the part that's going to add contrast in the photo this part is gonna look a lot lighter so just keep pulling it down as we like to call it the Kim K look and add a little bit more and like I said this is going to be a little bit more heavier than the daytime so just keep applying slowly but surely and it all comes together pull um, add a little bit down the middle of your nose because you want that to stand out and a little bit on your chin as well and just paint that on okay so next I'm going to go in with my crease brush and I'm just buffing that into my skin I'm buffing it until it's kind of one with my skin and it stands out just a little bit. And just blend it out. Blend, pull it, pull it. <clears throat> and underneath your eyes, you're always going to have like some type of crease or because that's just how your skin is underneath there. You have a little bit of line, so it's going to get inside of there, so don't even trip off of it. Use your finger a little bit to blend it as well. And just keep on blending. Next, I'm going to go in with my Armani foundation. Use like a dot and a half of this because a lot or a little bit goes a long way. I'm going to take my buffing brush, tuck your mouth, and let's roll. So now just buff it on all over. Now I'm going to go over the concealer, but the only concealer I'm going to go over is the one that's on my chin and maybe a little bit on top of my nose. Don't go on top of what we put underneath the eyes because we want that to still stand out. So just a little bit at a time, slowly but surely, bring it all the way back into the hairline as well. And just keep buffing it on all throughout your face. Buff, buff. Don't forget to put it underneath your neck or on your neck. Don't be the woman that walks around with a different color neck and a different color face. That is not cute. So just keep buffing and blending all of that in up until you feel like it's all just one color and everything's very smooth. Now I'm gonna go in with my brush and I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever Matte Powder. And I'm just gonna put this underneath my eyes. And this is basically gonna set the concealer so that it doesn't move. Because concealer will move, it's creamy. It's, and it's, your, it's a human face that's alive. So you gotta make sure that you're putting this powder on these areas. All right, now this is my favorite part because this is when the illusion of me having skinny face comes in. So take the cream concealer, this is Graftobian palette as well, put it right in the hollows of your cheeks. And when you're blending it out, make sure you're blending in back and forth motion. Don't go up and down because it starts to mess up the paint job that you did with the transition of the concealer and then the foundation a little bit more towards your neckline and just keep buffing out. Make sure you have no harsh lines. Harsh lines are not cute. We are trying to give an illusion. Don't make the illusion obvious. You don't need to add any product to the top of your forehead, but whatever's on the brush, use that. Because sometimes the, the concealer can be a little bit too dark for your forehead and it stands out a little bit too much. Keep blending until the line is gone, for the most part. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Mineral Skin Finish. And whenever you, want, whenever you use any type of cream, you want to set it with the powder. If you don't set it with the powder, then it's going to move. So make sure that you go back in, set it with the powder, and it gives a nice transition of that darker line and kind of blends it to a lighter line. Now I'm going to go in with my Mineral Skin Finish, and this is for all over my face. I'm using my powder brush. I'm barely, barely tapping this on my face. I'm just wanting this to seal everything all together. So don't press too hard because then you start to move too much of the product and remember it's makeup. So it, it'll move easy. Now I'm going to go in with my blush. 
Dab a little smile and swoop. <laughs> swoop from the apples of the cheeks, go all the way back to the hairline. And remember, start with a little bit and then gradually add more because it's a lot easier to do it that way. Go back and forth. Fix plus, booyah. So I don't look all cake face powdery. Now I'm gonna go in with my lipstick. Now a dark lip is like my favorite for nighttime. It just adds a little bit more of an edge and I just feel like it's just, I don't know, I just like the way it makes me look edgy. And I'm gonna have a tutorial for lipstick specifically. So this part, you can pay attention if you want, but you don't have to. But I'm very, very particular with like a perfect line for my lipstick. So put your liner on, fill it in. Like I said, Miss Perfectionist. Everything is like a coloring book with makeup, as you can see. I love dark lips. Just makes that fur pop, baby. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going in with my dark lipstick. This is Diva from MAC if you're interested. Swoop that on. And if you can notice as well that I'm taking a color that's a little bit lighter than that lip liner. And if you watch the lipstick tutorial that I'm going to have for you pretty soon, then you'll see why I do that. But I'm not going to tell you right now. Keep mixing. Mix, mix. I'm feeling myself. I am. Ooh! Boom, she's done. There you go. 